Hey guys, so I wanted to do something a little bit different than what I usually do. I'm usually a uh, gaming YouTuber. If you don't know, I make like gaming videos on the finals, of the game, if you, uh, if you know about it. I wanted to do something different today, kind of spread my wings, um, because I use CapCut for all my videos. I think everyone should. I mean, there's uh, great options out there like DaVinci Resolve and, you know, obviously Adobe. Obviously, the problem with Adobe Premiere is is that um it costs a lot of money right so and then davinci it is free but it's very like hard to understand if you're a beginner so i wanted to make this video on CapCut because this is a i think CapCut's the perfect editing software for beginners for newer people that just want something to be clean something fresh you know not super complicated all in your face everywhere so let's go ahead and get started on how to download it so I will have this linked in the description below. This is the website that you will download it from. Um, it's obviously safe and everything. I mean, but yeah, you will just click download on that. And then, and then once you have it downloaded, it should be on your desktop right here, CapCut. Um, it'll probably be you know over there or whatever, but you just want to double click on that, open it up. And then it should open up like this small little box. This is before you start your actual project. So you can see I can ha I have like a, a lot of videos here that I've done. First, actually, let me say, uh, when you open this, you're, you uh, should sign up. I don't think you have to. I don't actually remember, but I suggest signing up. But then after you're done signing up, then all you want to do right here is, I mean, it's big, it's massive. So you can easily see it, just this new project button because you won't have any projects you want to work on or anything. So you just want to click on this new projects button. And then this is where you get to the real magic, the real art of everything. Now, if this is your first time ever editing ever and you just find it interesting and you want to know more, this already might look intimidating. But I'm going to tell you right now, it's super simple, super straightforward. Um, especially compared to a lot of, like what I mentioned earlier, Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. This is very clean, very simple. So let me show you what's going on here exactly. So the top left is where, well, the top left and the bottom is where you're going to be spending most of your time. But the top left, you have media, audio, text, stickers, effects, transitions, filters, adjustments, templates. It sounds like a lot. I've never even used adjustments or templates. Uh, I've never used them stickers i've used maybe like once the main thing that you'll be using in this top left area here is media and text at least for me anyways i don't know what you plan on doing but if you plan on making like a, a gaming video you're going to need a lot of text on the screen the media all you do it's very simple if you have a video file already um just locate it so i just used my most recent video that i've released uh, my six hidden achievements video so i just selected that and right here boom it's right there for me. So you can just click add the track with this, but I like to slide slide and drop because if you see, look, if I add add the track again, it automatically puts it there when let's say I wanted it up here, for example. So I always just like to slide it and drop it wherever I want it, but it don't really matter. But once you drop your file in, you can see it, put, it brings up a nice big uh, screen where if you um, press play, you can see it up at the top nice it plays for you beautiful and then let's talk about more for down here i'll talk i'll go back to up here uh again with certain stuff but for right now that's the main thing that you want to learn for down here is where the magic happens so most of the things that i use when i edit this a lot i use this magnifying glass here on the right where if you drag it it zooms in and you can zoom in as far as like a single millisecond or whatever it is but uh, usually I like to have it around like the halfway mark. I go in and out a lot. And uh, I'm constantly always dragging this. I don't know if it's the best way to do it. You can move like this. But I like to just grab this and drag it. That's what I do a lot. Um, but you can also use this little dial thingy at the bottom here. Now these little four things on the side. This one just locks your track so that it doesn't move at all. And you can't like edit it or anything like that. You see, I can't select it or edit it. So that's just nice to have. This one just shows the track. Uh, you click it, it's hidden. So if you have multiple layers. So the hidden track right here is very useful. Uh, for, for example, you can see this is a different frame because I have a different layer right here. If I just want to turn off that layer, don't want to see it, I want to see this one. Boom, there you go. 
And then this is the volume clip where you just mute and unmute your volume. There is ways that you can just um, turn down the volume without muting it or turn up the volume um, if you need to. And I will show you that soon. But I think there's one more important thing. And this is probably the number one thing you're going to be doing that I might as well just tell you right now and get out of the way. Is you want to select your clip and when you when you see like a like a dry point like right here. You see how there's kind of air, uh, no, what, what to look for is usually these volume things. If I zoom out more, it's more prevalent. You can see it like these little bars. And when you zoom in more, you can see like more space areas where that's usually where you want to cut it is those little areas where there's no, where there's kind of silence. So it's kind of awkward. So you want to hit control B. That is your trim. As you can see, the video is now trimmed. It is cut up. Uh, let me quickly just say too, I would suggest turning off the main track magnet right here every time. Some people keep it on, but I like to just turn it off because what it does is, for example, like I can't pull this apart because it wants to stay on the track kind of thing. So if you turn that off, boom, now you can move it. So I suggest turning that off every time. So we hit control B again. So double control B. Now we see like we have like a little single audio file here or a little single um, cut here. And then all we do is press backspace on our keyboard or, you know, it'd be, and it deletes it and boom. And then all you do is grab this one again and slide it over till you see those blue lines right there. And then boom. Yeah, and now you have ever, one fluent yeah, as ever where it should sound pretty decent. So that's the main thing that you're going to be doing a lot of the time, but let's show you more of the nice features and stuff that CapCut has for beginners that makes it very simple and straightforward, which I really like personally. Now, first off, I've never had it crash on me, which might not sound that crazy to you because think, well, they, they shouldn't crash, you know, but believe it or not, a lot of editing softwares like DaVinci Resolve, like Premiere Pro crash a lot. So CapCut is very nice. I've never had it crash. And as you can see on the top left, it auto saves constantly. It's 1044 and it, it auto like it auto saves every couple of seconds. So also don't don't make fun of me because I don't have windows activated. OK, I'm poor, man. Leave me alone. Don't make fun of me, please. <laughs> but um, but uh, yeah, so for example, if for some reason it would crash, I've never had it happen, but maybe it's possible. It probably is, I would imagine. Um, or you just accidentally X out of it. It will immediately, you will see, once I've exited out of it, save the project right there. The project is immediately saved. It will be in this little, that's what all of these are is saved projects. It will be right there. Super easy to handle or to get with it fully saved again. So it's no problem. You don't lose any progress. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So if, like I said earlier, if you want to mess with the volume of the clip, all you have to do is go on, click on the track you want. So let's say this little one that we have selected here, or I could do this one, but let's just do this one. And right on the top right here, you have a bunch of things. So this is video where you can um, move it, move it, it's, uh, position it. You can grab it, uh, size it down. You can see the scale has gone down now to 37%. You can do it manually. So I can type in 100% and then boom and automate and press enter and it automatically does it. Then I can just drag it back in place where I want it. I haven't used anything else here. Um, I have used image enhancement. It's nice, but it's not great. And, and you need the pro version. So you need like the, uh, the spend money version. So it's not, it's not really worth, it's not great. Um, I'd say everything else here is kind of worthless for me anyways, for what I do, maybe like auto reframe or something would be useful to you. Not for me. So then you have like cut out mask enhance. I haven't really used either any of these, but it's nice. You can use it. You press circle and then like, you can like drag it and then boom. So if you want like a Corey Kenshin kind of face cam where it's like a circle, uh, there you go. Perfect. You know, that's pretty much it for video. Now for audio, like I said, for volume. Uh, you can, so right here's the volume dial. You can straight up drag it. Um, you can, pr you can go on this, select it, go maybe negative two. There you go. Negative two decibels. So it's a little bit more quiet, you know, or you could bring it up even if you need to, like you're, if you're too quiet, you can easily drag that, stop it. Beautiful. Um, now this, I use a lot and you will probably too 
is loudness normalization. It's actually very good. It makes the audio sound a lot better. Another thing that I love about CapCut is this. It's just beautiful. It's clean. You just click a button and boom, the audio sounds 10 times better. So like for this video that you're hearing right now, this is on like pretty much what I'm saying. I always have it on. Uh, you can do a voice changer too, which I haven't really tried. As you can see, I haven't downloaded any of these. I haven't tried any of them. They might be good, might not. I can't really tell you on that. To be honest, I haven't really done it. But uh, try it out yourself. But then we can go over to the speed. Um, this, if you wanna speed up like you're like, if you're a vlogging type YouTuber and you wanna do like a time lapse, for example, this is perfect. Where if you have a long form video, of like a still video and you want to do a time lapse this is perfect or you just want to speed up the video in some way or slow it down um, this is where you would do it um, i've done it a couple of times but it's super simple you drag it two times speed the video clip is shorter then you can just drag this one and uh then you just press play and as you can tell it's a lot faster so very simple very straightforward can't i don't i can't complain super easy and then this one animation i've used a lot this one you probably will use a lot once you start experimenting and getting better with editing it's nothing you know crazy advanced but you know you will use it a lot it's great so there's an in there's an out and a combo i've never used the combo um maybe i should try it honestly i've never actually thought of trying it but i've only used in and out so something very simple like a fade in for example so i just click on this so boom you see that it's applied to my video so i can make it a lot longer down at the duration area i can drag it I want to make it longer so, so instead of 0.5 it's 3.4 so again if we restart it starts as black and then it slowly comes back in which is nice beautiful and then you have an out and then if you want to get rid of it you can just press none oh, by the way at the top here but then there's out so for instead of the beginning of the clip it does it on the uh, end of the clip so for example I could do fade out you know and I again I can make the duration longer just by dragging this I am going or i could manually type it if i wanted no to but there you go ever... and now the clip so is just dragged out be beautiful today what... super simple super easy that i'm going to be saying that a lot because that's literally the definition of cap cut it's super simple super easy another cool thing that i'll bring up real quick which is a little bit more complicated but are keyframes you see this little diamond right here uh you can select this keyframe and for right now, where it's at, you can see on the bottom of the file uh, on the video now, you can see the little key where my mouse is. If I move it now, the video, and at the same time I zoom in, for example, boom, it automatically makes another keyframe. So now if I go back in the video and I press play, it automatically zooms in. And then I could make another keyframe where I do this. And drag it a bit and then I go to the scale and type a hundred percent and now look it made two more keyframes so now it zooms in and then it zooms out so that might not be as as simple as um, the other stuff it's not too difficult once you actually learn how to do it but it can be difficult at first but yeah that's so that's keyframes for you and then now let's finally go back to up here so audio is actually really nice I've never actually used it but I do think it's really nice how they have um, all these video. Like, look at this. They have constantly like thousands of song sounds. I would imagine sound effects. Look at all the sound effects. I actually should look at some of these sound effects to be honest. These are this is actually kind of nice. A billion sound effects. Uh, you can run a copyright check, which is actually really nice. I didn't know that existed. That's nice. I haven't actually checked out this audios that much. Extracted audios, brand music beautiful now text text i use a lot text obviously if you want to put text on the screen this is where you go top left right here text super quick um so default text you just drag it or you could click the plus but you know me i like to drag so i drag i drop um, and then if you, if you, for example, if you don't see your text and you're freaking out, like, where's my text at? Where's my text at? Always make sure this, the, this thing is hovering over it. Um, that's a lot of things that beginners will mess up on and they'll get confused. Uh, make sure this, uh, I don't know what it's actually called, but make sure this is over the default text. 
and then right here it'll automatically when you have it selected just like how you had the uh the video file selected you have the default text selected it automatically selects when you drop it um you just go in here you delete that text and you type whatever you want you know hello world beautiful and then right here you have font so the usual font that i use is resolve um you can use i mean they have an endless some selection if you go too quick by the way it also kind of like lags and then like it freezes which i do kind of find annoying so you do want to go kind of slow when going down this but yeah then you have like concise and stuff which you know then here's a slider for font size too if you want uh or you could just use it i usually just use this or you could type it manually like everything you type 25 for example and then press enter then there's bold underline italia a, a, a talalize or whatever it's called case uppercase lowercase and then color where it has everything in the rainbow everything that you could ever ask for uh move this little circle around to get the different colors and then this then there's a second circle here that you can just move and as you can see the text is changing color to where this circle is going so I can make it black if I want, for example, or I could just set it to blue. And then there is preset styles, which the only one I've ever used and I usually use is this one. It's It looks very nice. It adds a nice black outline. And then again, it does change the color back to white, but then you can just go ahead and change it again. And then boom, beautiful. Now your text is blue. So there's blend where you can change the opacity of the text if you want, make it smaller or make it uh, not as sealable then you have stroke where the, the where the stroke is the black line that you see around the text you can change the color to that if you want to make it that for some reason or you could do white white looks very good uh, we'll keep it on white for now and then you have background where it makes a background or you could select this one where it kind of makes it like more smaller around your words better or you could just have a default background i've used that a couple of times it's it's nice uh glow i've used once it's, it's nice um this one's a pro version so you need the pro version but they do have a default version which looks like this it adds a little glow it's not like this one where there's a bunch of glow but to be honest i mean let's be honest this one looks better anyways this one's just like there's too much going on you know so i i say this one's better anyways you can change the intensity the range simple then you have shadow shadow i've actually used a good amount of times shadow is very nice so like there as you can see it just adds a little bit of a nice shadow to it makes it more 3d and less 2d you know so it's more like refreshing to the eyeball there and then there's curves so if you want to make it kind of curvy like that you can e easily do it uh, you change the angle uh, curve you can change the strength boom or you could turn it that way then there's animation, which again is the same thing as the th as the uh, as the video file. Uh, you can you know just select it, slide up, and now it slides up. Easy peasy. Turn that off, and you can do the same thing for out. Uh, then tracking, tracking is it sounds complicated because the the text tracks whatever you select, but it's actually very simple. CapCut makes it simple. You just select motion motion track. And then this little yellow box pops up so I can put it on my head, for example. And now this word will track my head. So wherever my head goes is where the text will go. And then there you go. As you can see, look, hello world is fully tracking my head. Wherever my head goes, the text goes. Boom, boom. Super cool. Uh, I've used that a couple times. It's actually not bad. It's very nice. It's very good. They did a great job on it effects is like a uh, instagram filter well well they have filters and effects and they're both kind of the same they do are they are different but they're kind of similar so like a filter is just a instagram like filter so if i want crisp air it will change how the video looks there you go video looks different now and then effects is it makes the video look different but it's like it's more of like a it's more of like a thing happens on the screen, not it changes how it looks. You know what I'm saying? Like it puts a thing on the screen pretty much. So for example, I can add this glitch effect and then press play and boom, look. Allegedly, It's glitching out. To be honest, that's pretty sick. Like you see how cool that looks? 
Like, you'd think that probably took an editor, like, you'd probably think an, an editor spent hours on that, but realistically, they just went in CapCut, picked this, and boom, easy, you know? And then I'm sure you can select it. Yeah, you can do the strength, you can do the glow speed, you know, all that. A lot of these things, like the effects, transitions, and filters, is kind of for, like, photography. So that's why I haven't used a lot of these. And then adjustments, I really don't know what this is, to be honest. So you have LUTs again, which kind of changes that. Um, I'm not sure exactly what adjustments is. Maybe you could tell me in the comments for if you're watching this, like, and you're a pro. Um, don't really know, to be honest, but they're there. And then templates is just already made, like, memes and stuff that if you want to use. Which is kind of cool, honestly. Um, do they have a trending? No, they don't have trending. Which, hey, CapCut. If you're watching this add a trending because i think trending would be a uh, would be smart to do because then it shows all the trending memes but either way it's still nice to have yeah pretty much um that's a general rundown of the editing um so once you're done and editing with your full video you edit it it looks all good looks beautiful you know it says the hello world you know whatever <laughs> you can just go on the top right here where it shows export you can just press export it, it will pop up this you can make it whatever resolution you want i do my videos in 2k so that's 1440p um if you don't know or you could just a lot of people do uh just simple 1080p can't go wrong you can title the video whatever you want boom hello world uh you can choose what you want to export it to so you just click this file and then you can do bitrate um, and then this stuff, you uh, frame rate, make sure it's on 60. You want it to be max frame rate. So then your video looks as good as possible. Uh, format and codecs, don't really worry about. Just make sure it's on MP4 and you should be good. And then you just press export. And then whatever you have it exporting to, it will be there. So for example, I do my YouTube so I can, so, so once I have exported out of it, I can just press the X and it'll pop up here. Boom, it's updated. There you go. Save the project, it says. But the actual file that I exported would usually go in my YouTube file right here. So I could just open up that, take it out, and upload it to YouTube. And it's that simple. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I wanted to make it kind of beginner friendly. But I also just wanted to kind of explain it. So even if you're not a beginner and you just kind of want to know more about like what each thing does then there you go um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i enjoy doing videos like these where i'm kind of explaining uh how to's when i was younger i made a lot of these videos so uh it was kind of fun to go back and do these thank you all so much for watching the video uh leave a like subscribe if you guys enjoyed if you want to see some um gameplay of me using CapCut, like if you want to see an example of gameplay i have the final i played the, the game the finals and i edit on CapCut, so you can go to my youtube channel and watch those videos if you'd like um but anyways peace guys